I can't believe I'm doing this shit. If you end up going on a trip by yourself, don't tell everybody say they're on a trip by yourself. Young Lola, controller, come closer, bad pretty, make me lose composure. What it do, baby? I don't know. It's a girl, Colleen, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, babes. I hope you stick around. And if you are a returning subscriber, well going family, big up yourself, period. Y'all, I know this setup is a little bit different. Like, we haven't had a sit down one on one video in a minute. Like, since like I first started YouTube, I think. And I just wanted to bring these videos back so you guys can get to know me on like a deeper level and I can like get to know you guys. So the series I'm starting on my channel is called, drum roll please, The Art of Becoming. And what really like inspired this series was my growth last year. I feel like last year, y'all, I grew tremendously. Like I was doing, I was doing stuff like outside of my comfort zone. I was taking big risk, and I feel like this series is just about healing, growing, you know, stepping outside of your comfort zone, becoming the best version of yourself, and also the journey it took for you to get there. So this one definitely goes like close to my heart because I feel like we're all improving. We're all trying to be the best version of ourselves. Like we're all trying to get to that place that we like envision for ourselves. A round of applause for me y'all because we're doing big things in 2024. We're doing big things, okay? One of the things I did last year that really made me step outside of my comfort zone was solo traveling. I went on my first solo trip to Miami. Don't play. She's a Miami babe. <laughs> but yeah, I went on my first solo trip to Miami and it was so, 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 so nerve wracking, but so like beautiful at the same time. Like I learned so much about myself and you know, enough of the talking, let's just run it back. The letter W. Niggas give me the cold shoulder, I can speak for myself. So I keep a hot waist and alligator the belt. As you can see by the title above, your girl is going on a motherfucking solo trip. What? To Miami. So let me tell you, like, I'm so nervous. I can't lie. Right now I'm so nervous and I want to like film this experience. But I'm shaking in my boots, guys. I can't believe I'm doing this shit. I can't believe I'm... Originally, I was supposed to go on a trip with someone else, but it didn't work out in my favor. So I was like, am I gonna sit at home and be sad for myself? Or am I gonna do a solo trip? And yeah, I impulsively booked this shit and here we are. So this is the plan. I'm not going on this trip by myself. I'm obviously going with you guys. So I have this entire shit planned. As you can see, Miami solo trip day one, day two, day three. So we're going from Halifax to Toronto, Toronto to Miami. A few moments later. Like I'm literally about to tear up. I'm literally about to tear up. I've grown so much this year, bro. Like me last year, I would never do this shit. And the fact that everyone around me is so supportive of this decision. Because what I can say is like a lot of people, they just live in fear. And I, I am a very like fearful person. I'm just afraid. I'd be scared to try new things. This year, I can definitely say I've been stepping outside of my comfort zone and doing shit I wouldn't even imagine myself doing. And I'm just, I'm just so thankful I'm in a position to do these things. I'm so thankful because at the end of the day, I'm never alone. I'm never alone. God is always with me. Okay, guys. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm in Miami. I'm at this breakfast spot called OJ de Agua Brickell. And I got myself a acai bowl. Y'all, this looks so freaking good. So they just brought the rest of my food and chow. I feel like I ordered a lot, but this looks so freaking good. And I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten since like the airport. Thank you so much. I haven't eaten since this morning. Playing game, got some little niggas who would do it, so I pass the 
controller Get pressed the next out, get try to angle your nose Cause your life if you square, try to mess with my O's Whoa, so cut the crap like shit barbers Cause we really with the beef like hogs and the gay fathers Nigga, we get dollars, give them the bin baller It changed for them chains, I saw shiny with thick water I got back pains, neck heavy like whipped cream I whip clean, and they all white, I whip cream And cop boards, and I draw a stick, I whip cream And cop cribs, I got more space than big jeans Y'all sleeping on me, explain why they got shit dreams I'm alien, got the lazy gun with the big beam Married to the money, my bitch green It has my name, it says Howdy Citizen Colleen Rayona Ah, not the middle name So let's see this is so cool. Wait, so what does this do? I'm confused. Lights? Huh, let me sit down. Oh shit, this controls the blinds as well. No way. Lady said this is like the best view in the entire like hotel so she really hooked me up because this is actually stunning so cool am i like a nerd like this is literally the coolest shit ever and then so far it's been calm um i picked up this book it's called the seven spiritual laws of success so that's gonna be like my little my little reading for this little trip but right now i'm just gonna be like vibing i want to go in the pool but i'm low-key scared like i'm shy i'm honestly gonna go in the pool because i can't swim but it doesn't look deep like people are like standing so i think it'll be okay i'm going to get breakfast at this place called ojo de agua brickel and it was really good it wasn't really what i was expecting it to be like i had more like i had high expectations for it i can't lie but it is what it is um yeah i want to go into the pool guys i'm just gonna break up because it's cool. like like why and yeah i'm just gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go that was literally everything i have from my trip my camera got stolen guys like my camera got stolen with all my footage and that's just that's all I have for you that's literally all I have for you but nevertheless I still took a lot of gems from that trip and I'm here to share it with you so here are three tips if you're looking to solo travel or you're thinking of doing a little solo vacation by yourself so tip number one if you're looking to solo travel is obviously do your research I suggest like watching vlogs TikTok videos like when I was thinking of going somewhere by myself tiktok youtube my best friends literally like my best friends i was watching vlogs i was on tiktok 24 7 looking at like other people and seeing like their experience and how it could like help me if i was looking to like solo travel so definitely like do your research another thing i did was research like different like hotels and y'all when i tell you i was i wouldn't say like paranoid but i went as far as like going onto the street view on like google maps just to see like what was around my hotel what kind of restaurants and bars and like fun activities were close by if you're gonna go somewhere that you're not familiar with i suggest knowing what's around so you're not always like looking on your phone and you kind of have like a good idea of where you're staying and what's really like around you like you don't need to prove shit to anyone you don't need to go to mexico or puerto rico or jamaica by yourself literally start small go go to another state or another province if you live in canada go on like a little solo date by yourself like go to the restaurant like go on a little walk by yourself be comfortable with being alone because when you're on this trip by yourself it's literally just you so just be mindful of that if you're thinking of doing a little trip by yourself. <laughs> Tip number two is mindset is everything. If you're thinking of doing this, eliminate all negative thoughts from your mind. Like, just, just take it out of your brain. Thoughts become reality and you're just gonna you're just gonna have a bad experience. Like, how are you gonna go somewhere by yourself and the first thing you're thinking is that, oh my God, what if I end up alone or what? No. Another thing I'd say 
is obviously tell like your close friends and like your family members but keep it close to your chest from my experience not a lot of people have good intentions and they're just gonna project their fear on you they're just gonna project their fears and as i said thoughts become reality and that's just gonna be your reality if you end up going on a trip by yourself don't tell everybody say they're on a trip by yourself like if anyone asks tell them you're with family members you're with your boyfriend you're with like your grandmother like whoever you need to say you're with just don't say you're by yourself um when i was in miami i didn't really like encounter a lot of people asking me if i was by myself but don't tell them you're by yourself don't because i feel like that just makes you an easy target and they'll just like know that okay this girl's by herself like we can like take advantage of her or especially as a woman you just need to be more cautious of situations like that but yeah don't tell anyone you're by yourself and also when you're leaving a restaurant or a club or whatever venue or environment you're in post your pictures after you've left that's one thing i, I that's one thing i also did if i'm taking a picture and i'm in a museum or if i'm at a bar or if i'm at a restaurant best believe i already left babes that's why i'm posting the picture so definitely post your pictures after you left the location, especially being by yourself. And I suggest not posting that you're alone on your Instagram either. You don't know who's following you. You don't know, you, like you just don't know. And this is just to ensure your safety. Okay guys, so that's all the tips I have for you. I know, real short, real sweet, real cute. And if you do end up going on a solo trip, let us know where you went to, if it was a 10 out of 10, if it was a five out of 10, if you liked the experience, don't be shy to share. And thank y'all so much for tuning in to my first episode of The Art of Becoming. Y'all will be getting some content real soon and I'm also looking on bringing people on here as well. So stay tuned for that. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you on the next video. Bye.